Hey, welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Um, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about uh, how to pass uh, pointers to structures to a function. So, <coughs> or in other words, how to pass the structure pointers to a function. Um, in the previous tutorial, uh, we learned that there was uh, there. This is how you actually pass the structure itself uh, to to a function. So we wrote a small program that uh, uh, computes the area of a rectangle, and we represented a rectangle using the structure by specifying length and width as the members of the structure, and then we wrote a function called area, which takes the rectangle by value. Um, and then it computes the the area by multiplying length and width and then returning back the uh, result of this product and then uh, we in our main function we we uh, declared a variable called rect1 which is of type structure struct rectangle so rect1 has two members length and width and we set the length to 10 we set the width to 5 and then we ca call this area function by passing rect1 as value so essentially what we did was uh, we when we we had this rect1 here and we basically uh, pass we, we set its value to length value of length to 10 and value of width to 5 and then when we call area what happened was it ended up in uh, let me see yeah it ended up in making a copy of this structure this whole structure and put it into what is uh, the dummy parameter of this uh, uh, function rect so it copied the values of rect1 which is 10 and 5 into this um, structure and we computed the product uh, the area and then returned the area back this is returning this is passing the structure with value in this tutorial we are going to learn how to pass it as a as a pointer so obviously and we have done this before with with the, you know arrays and stuff so obviously if you want to pass it as pointer we have to declare it as pointer here okay so this is a this is how we declare it as a pointer so now rect is is a pointer so since rect is a pointer we learned that we know in our, one of our previous tutorials we learned that if it is a pointer to access the members of a structure pointed to by a pointer you don't use dot you use this operator here the arrow operator dash and greater than sign so so you use this to basically access the member elements here the length and the width okay and we compute the results just the same way and 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 return the result back so we are this function actually instead of taking the structure itself it just takes the pointer to the structure so what how are we going to call how the call is going to be different any different the answer is yes because before we were passing the entire structure to it the main structure rect1 which is defined as the structure struct rectangle we need to actually pass the address here because you know we we have to pass we have to match the types so type of this parameter is actually struct rectangle pointer so it's a pointer it needs an address here so what we have to do is we have to send pass a, an address here so how to get the address of rect1 of course the ampersand operator okay the reference operator so we basically get the address of rect1 and we pass it into this function as parameter and the function does everything the same way and it returns back the result and we get the result back so if we if you try to visualize it instead of uh let me excuse me uh let me see um let's see if i can choose this whole thing and then do a control x so yes uh back to pen and what we are doing here is actually we have a pointer called rect now and we have the original rect1 in our main program here rect1 which has a value of 10 and 5 and then as we are passing we basically what we are doing is we are taking the address of rect1 and putting it into rect so as soon as we do that we put the address of rect1 into rect what happens is rect 
starts pointing to rect 1. And then when we access rect length, we get 10. And when we access rect width, we get 5. And we multiply them together, and we get 50. And that's the value that we return back. And it gets assigned to rect 1 area. So let's run this program and see what happens. So as you can see, when this program runs, the same thing happened, the same result as before, 50, which is the product of 5 and 10. That's what we get as the area. So this is, this is perfectly, uh, this is another way of re returning, um, uh, of passing the, re the structures to, uh, to, a f to a function. You know, usually, you know, you could, there are basically essentially two ways. So one, one is to pass it by value, the other is to pass as a pointer. Now, what are the uh, what is the preferred way? A lot of time, people try. People prefer to actually use this method. Then the reason is that when you use this, this has a fixed size of pointer. That's it. So here, you all you are passing is the pointer. Before we pass the entire structure. Now our structure is very small. It has only two elements. Now this structure could be very huge. Remember, structure can have structures in it also. So we define this struct rectangle. We could define some other structure, and we could have variables with this name, uh, with this type, struct rectangle inside it. Then similarly, inside the struct rectangle, we could have other other structures. So in general, structures can have structures inside it, and then those structures can have in structures structures inside it, and so on. So this could be really big. There could be an array, a big array inside it also. So these could be really big structures. And when you pass it as value, what it means is that it makes a full copy of it in here. And that actually occupies lots of space on stack. And that's not good. But if you declare it as a pointer, all you have to do is to pass the address. That's how this function can access all the elements inside it. And, and you could use it just, just as good. So all you have to do is to just pass the address address into into this function and that's it you're done so this a lot of time because of this it's a very it's a preferred way now one thing is that if you made any changes to length here remember this it will change the value of length in here also of this variable also why because essentially this rect is pointing to where this guy is pointing like in this picture so if you change rect if you say rect length is equal to 20 in here okay that will change the value of rect1 dot length to 20 if you print it after that after making this function call it will print 20 here so that that's a kind of a drawback so if you accidentally ch make start making changes here then it's going to change the value of the caller variable in here. So you have to be careful if you define it as, as pointer here. There is one way of actually um, getting the help from the compiler saying that, okay, I will never change it, okay? Change any of its members by declaring a constant here, const, which we haven't learned, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just mentioning it. So there is a way of basically preventing this to ha from happening. But f as far as our knowledge is concerned at, at this time, we this is a drawback here. Now, this could be a good thing also. What if, uh, for a moment, think of it that there is an area declared here also. Now, you could actually, what you could do is you could say rect area. So that way, you are actually computing area right then and there. And and you could we could basically make it void, remove this and remove this. So all we are doing is basically compute the area and not even put in in here and change this to actually print rect one dot area. And area would be computed by this function when it will be called like this. So I'm gonna stop here. This concludes this tutorial. We'll continue with the other tutorials. Thank you so much.